Good morning, Newman Smith. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. Well, let's start with our pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now our pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Thank you, and you may be seated. Well, happy Friday, everyone, December 1st. So today is really important with our panorama survey. If you were not here on Wednesday, please be sure to take your panorama survey today during your sixth period class. Again, please be sure to take your panorama survey today during your sixth period class if you missed Wednesday. All right, welcome to Newsday with Dr. J. It's where we build culture and community around our great school right here every day. Be sure to send it to a friend, hit subscribe, because we want to share with the World Wide Web the great things that are happening at Newman Smith High School. All right, our word of the day is deplete. Deplete is a verb. It means to use over time. The sample sentence is, the lost campers quickly depleted their supply of food. And our quote of the day is, there is no failure, you either win or learn. There is no failure, you either win or learn. Uh, there's a great book called Failing Forward, and I, I recommend it if you're going through a hard time or you feel like you can't uh, get, get a lot of success right now in what you're doing. The book is called Failing Forward, and I think it's a, it's a great philosophy of if I do fail or if I make an attempt and I'm not successful, really I'm learning how to do that next attempt. So I want to encourage you Trojans that um, don't consider it a failure. Consider it an, an opportunity to learn. All right, today is really important. We have EOC testing for the Newsday slide. Uh, I want to run over a couple of important points. December 5th is English 1, December 6th is Algebra 1 in U.S. History, and December 7th is English 2 in Biology. Rooms on the northeast uh, side of our building upstairs will be used for testing. So your teachers will let you know where to go and signs will be posted. Um, it's very important if you have failed one of these tests over the last four years that you attend this test and that you get this done so that you can graduate. You have to have uh, five EOCs to graduate and we want to make sure that we are providing the opportunity for all of our seniors. So do not miss this opportunity to take this test so you can graduate. Uh, please check your email from Miss Leach and also be sure you know we test online so you're going to want to charge your Chromebook and bring that the next day. All right, I want to share with you, you guys get a weekly text from me uh, it, it, from our Scholar Square. It's called the Trojan Newsweek, and I wanted to spend just a minute on this this morning. Every week we send out, just like we do our news every day, every week we send out the Trojan Newsweek. Um, I send it to Ms. Ketcherson. She works it up in a really great form, and we send it out to you guys. But it's where we're able to celebrate a lot of the great things going on here at Smith. So when you open that text, you can read about our holiday bingo reading challenge, um, it's, it's everything for the week. We have information about EOC test prep sessions. So I just want to let you know when you get that text, go ahead and open it, go through it, because you never know when there could be a reminder there for you. But we also celebrate our um, scholarships. We celebrate our sports, our fine arts. We let you know when concerts are coming up. And then, of course, we just had our blood drive, and this is a picture of all the scholars that helped with the blood drive last week. We had a turkey giveaway with Mr. Alton and his friends, and so want to make sure that you're checking out our Trojan Newsweek. Well, that'll wrap us up for today. I also want to remind you, guys, make sure that when you go home every night that you put your ID in the same place. I was talking with Mr. Goodwin. He's one of our teachers in our Academy of Building and Design, and he puts his ID on his bag. I put my ID in the door of my car so that I know every day where it is the, the very same place. Because if you don't have an ID, that's how you can rack up some really um, nasty ID fines. And so 
make sure that you have a system maybe ask your advisory teacher hey what system can i use to keep up with my id uh, maybe ask your advisory teacher what you owe on on fines so do that all right also start studying for those finals i know this was a lot of uh, to do today on our news but i just want to make sure that everybody is is on top of their game and we can head into the break ready to be successful for next semester all right well i love you i think you're great remember character counts and make it a great day or not the choice is yours.